Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I got my computer out because I want to upgrade this machine. It was previously called Blue 3.0 and now it is going to be 4.0. It was about two years ago where I first built this machine. Since then I had two different revisions to it, but now it's time for yet another upgrade. I say upgrade, but it is not necessarily a huge performance upgrade but it is going to look vastly different and i'll get to that in a bit but first i built this machine to be able to carry this around it is not big at all and it is supposedly this fits in your bag or backpack or luggage so that you can carry this on different places i intended to use for conferences and being able to log this around into client's office and be able to do everything that i do with it because this computer is quite powerful however after two years i have realized i'm not really carrying this around much it's mostly at home and because it is in a tiny case it does have few issues and one of the biggest issue is limitation in hardware i am limited to a certain type of hardware as this only accepts certain sizes of components it does receive mini itx and mini itx motherboards are pretty vastly available so that's not much of an issue however when it comes to cpu cooler it only accepts certain type of cpu cooler one i have is cryo rig c7 but it is adequately cooling at most and certain type of times i do see the temperature going more than 95 degrees which is hardly ideal and when i am doing cpu intensive tasks such as rendering a video or encoding certain type of videos it really heats up and introduces throttling and i don't really want to have that much of a throttling going on into my computer if possible and because I have fitted with a powerful graphics card maybe it is kind of heating up the down low chamber and the heat is eventually rising onto CPU portion and it is already not being cooled so much because of the limited performance of CPU cooler and not much of a heat is being ventilated from the top. I think it's combination of everything but I just wanted to introduce more breathing room for the computer. So I decided to kind of increase the size of the case as I understand I'm no longer really looking to carry this case around. So I have ordered a few different things. So I know I'm gonna be changing CPU cooler. So I ordered a thermal compound. The next biggest is the SFX to ATX power supply. The next piece is Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L version 2 RGB. I don't really appreciate RGB all that much, but this was within my budget and price range. It was quite cheap. I think it was about $80 US. I'm hoping for this to cool my computer much better than what it used to. Two fans at least make up for better cooling. And this is my very first time working with AIO cooler. And the next piece is the biggest one. I don't know how I'm gonna fit it onto this table. So there you go, this is the biggest piece which is Fractal Design Define Nano S and this always had a good review online and I'm looking forward to build my PC. My original case was in fact Fractal Designs Nano 202 and then this one is Fractal Design same brand but Define Nano S. So this is much bigger mini ITX case but I'll be able to have better cooling inside so I'm looking quite forward to it. I had all of these boxes arrive at my home for about a week now and I've been having a really hard time not opening them until I get around shooting this video. So let's get this going shall we? How am I going to show you that on camera? I don't know. Let's try. I'm gonna have a hard time getting this out, so let me just put this on the floor. Let's get rid of the styrofoam. So, let me show you the front of this case. Obviously, I've done my research, so I kind of know what it's gonna look like. So, in comparison, it is probably a little bit thicker than twice as thick. Define Nano is about. So that was the front, the side. I actually got a unit that doesn't have window because I'm not really big fan of RGB first of all. And 
I don't really need to show off my computer to anyone. I like it more subtle and more professional looking if you may. So I got the one with the solid panels, which is the one I wanted. So it's solid on both sides. And you can see on the top, it actually has a couple of USB ports along with the power button. And then it has headphone and the microphone and the reset button even. And supposedly this is a panel that you can take off. You can actually mount your fan up here. And this is a Maju vent. I think that's what they called it. At the bottom of the case, you will see also the vents. And supposedly this is a removable filter. Unlike Nano 202 where you would have to unscrew a couple of screws before you get to any of the dust filters. So the back of the case, it has four different thumb screws. I heard that these are all captive thumb screws, meaning they don't go loose. They just hang on to the panel themselves and you can just slide out. This actually has the sound dampening, which is very nice to have. And I just opened up the back of the case or cable management side and there's quite of a room here for you to manage cables three and a half inch hard drive if you wish to and i believe you can mount two other two and a half inch ssds here and then quite a lot of cable managing grommets available for you obviously there's a lot of case review out there for this case as this is quite an old case but i think it's really well made seeing with my own eyes i am starting to believe that i have made a good purchase let's go ahead and open up the other side of the case for 80 dollars that i have spent for the case i think it is a good purchase and before I go on to the other side panel, you can see there is another fan already mounted here and double slots that's available for a graphics card down here. And that's going to be power supply. And because it doesn't accept SFX power supply by default, I have a bracket to use. So let's open up this side. Very nice. Again, the sound dampening material here. As you can see, there's quite a bit of room inside where I can mount the hardware. There's 140 mil fan right there and then 120, which is a smaller version back here. So I'm looking to actually have a configuration where air comes from the front and then vents back. And then I've got to undo parts inside of the case. So define Nano S accessories box, screws and nuts that I need for this case build. So I'll just put that aside. So obviously the thermal compound that I'm gonna need for the cooler, nothing special, pretty well known Arctic MX4 thermal compound. This is the SFX to ATX power supply adapter bracket. There's gonna be a little bit of benefit using this because there's very little clearance between power supply and then graphics card. And my graphics card is where a lot of heat also happens. And it's good to have a little bit more room in between them. So by having SFX power supply, I'm gonna have a little bit more additional breathing room. Does it have any screws? Yes, it does. And then lastly, let's open up this cooler. So some people may ask, why do I need such performance machine? Well, I'm an architectural designer and we rely on computer performance a lot. A lot of things are CPU intensive tests. And unfortunately in our industry, a lot of applications and softwares rely on single core speed. So we can't really utilize multi-core all that much, but I will still like to be able to manage the temperature. That's first thing. And we heavily rely on graphics card and at least in my case by introducing powerful graphics card meant that it is heating up my cpu as well so i'm just needing to upgrade that so that's where this cpu cooler comes into play so in here got a few different packages rgb fans and then there is the bracket and other doodads that i don't know and then the main part of cooler, the pump, the radiator. So there is no thermal compound already applied to it. I knew about it, so I bought the thermal compound. And I think that is it in this box and some of the things that you shouldn't eat. 
I'll keep the manual since this is my first time building all-in-one liquid cooler. So everything has been unboxed, so I just need to put that together. Hopefully everything will go as I have planned. Otherwise this video is gonna take a lot longer, which I don't wish it to be, but here it goes.